Hello everyone. Today let's have a revision for AP Physics 1. This is a real MCQ paper from 2018. Now we will go through the first five MCQs. So let's look at the first question. The figure above shows a track pulling three grids across a rough surface. A rough road here. So the rough means that we have friction. Right? Friction is to oppose the motion. So motion to the right, our friction is only to the left. Okay, so there's the old way friction to the left. And then, so for uh, for greater two here, now we have uh, this tension, okay, pulling greater one, the tension pulling back, okay. So greater two will experience a tension to the left. Then for greater, uh, due to greater three here, greater three will pull greater two, okay, will push greater two back. And then greater two will push uh, greater three back, okay. These two are going to be action, action here. Action reaction force. So we look at all the possibilities. A and B are wrong because they don't have friction. Okay, no friction. Right, C we have everything. Okay, crater three is pushing, uh, pushing, pushing crater two to the left. So that's why everything is there. Okay, so crater pushing three is on. Uh, choice C is answer. Choice D is wrong because crater three should be pushing it. Okay, to the left. Okay, pushing greater two to the left. That's why D is also wrong, right? So this fourth analysis is our, we call that free body diagram. For uh, kinematic dynamics, the free body diagram is very important, okay? As a first step of solving problems. That's for question one. Now let's move on to question two here. Two blocks are horizontal and frictionless surfaces. Block A moves with the initial velocity V, V0 towards or v not towards b which is stationary as shown above okay, this is uh, velocity zero okay both both collide stick together okay stick together means that m1 ma and mb will move together and move with the velocity of v not over two v not over three okay v not over three so we have collisions right what do we what's the topic we think of we have the conservation Okay, conservation of momentum. Right, so in this case, the initial momentum is ma times v naught. Okay, the final momentum is this much. Okay? So this will be ma and b times v naught over 3. So v naught, v naught cancel out. Okay, then um, both sides times 3. 3 ma equals to ma plus mb. Right, so 2 ma equals to mb. Then that will tell us that our mb is going to be larger than ma. So which one has a greater mass? Greater mass is going to be mb here. Okay, so when you the first step when you determine is about, about topics of conservation momentum. Second step, okay, we're going to work out the equations for conservation momentum. And the last step, we get the answer. All right, so this is for uh, a question about momentum. Now let's move on to question three here. So for question three, three and five, three to five, okay? question three to five refers to the same material, this graph, with velocity and the time here. So a student set an object attached to a spring into an oscillatory motion. So this would be moving up and down like that. Okay. So using a motion detector to record the velocity of the object as a function of time. A portion of the recorded data is shown in the figure uh, above here. So this is a velocity, you can be positive or negative. So it's like a spring here, the story like this, spring, and then up and down there, okay? Moving up and down. So the total change in object speed is between one second and 1.1 second. Okay, so when it's one second, it's about zero point, uh, it's about negative six, okay? And here, um, 1.1 is about negative, 11, right, 30, for the part, uh, 30 beyond 10, okay. So the total change in speed, a uh, velocity in active six speed is going to be, speed with six, another one speed is going to be 11. Okay, so difference between them is closer, so 11 minus six, which is five centimeter per second there. Okay, so that's for question three. For question four, the acceleration object at, at a time t, where t equals to 0 0.7, 
or 0 0.7 here is going to be uh, here. Yeah. All right, so what the assumption is most nearly equal to which of falling. So if I have a velocity, okay, remember, uh, if I have a velocity, we want to change to and move to acceleration. Okay, how do we do that? We do differentiation, right? Differentiate. Or we take the gradient, okay, basically. Take the gradient okay, of a tangent. Tangent there. So basically, if you draw a tangent here, straight line here, yeah? So a tangent this way, then the gradient is tangent, okay? Change in y over change in x. That'll give us the acceleration here. So this one, it says the field choices for part A, um, the value of the graph when it crosses the 0 0.6 grade line. That the value is going to be velocity, right? Not acceleration, so it's wrong. The slope of the line connecting the origin and the point where the graph crosses. The origin and its point connecting. No. Not really do that, right? It's not about the two points, okay? Um, the area on the graph between the graph, uh, between the graphs across the axis, 0 0.3 to that. Area of the graph is actually our displacement, okay? Change in displacement. So that change in displacement. So that's not acceleration, so that's wrong, okay? The slope of a tangent to a best fit sinusoidal graph at 0 0.7. Okay, the slope is, we'll have a best fit sine graph, okay? And then the slope of that is actually the point, the gradient of that. So give us choice C as an answer. There. Okay. So let's move on to question five here. The frequency of the oscillation is most nearly. So we know this velocity and it's a time here. So the period here is a T here, right? Period here, period being the, the time taken to complete one oscillation. That's going to be about 0 0.63 seconds or 62 as a matter of okay? So the frequency related to period is going to be frequency equals one over period. That's equals one over 0 0.63. Okay, so that's going to give us about, about 1.6 hertz there. All right, so these are the first five MCQs. Hope they can help you with your revision. Okay, thank you very much. So we'll stop here for the day.